Hi friends, I'm Paul from the Khan Academy Kids team. It's so great to see all of you. Thank you so much for coming to join us here on Circle Time today. Circle Time is a place where we read books and play and do fun activities. Today, I'm here with my friend Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Paul. Hi, friends. I am so excited to be back on Circle Time and to see you all. How are you all doing? Hmm, some of our friends said they're feeling happy. One of our friends is feeling excited. One of our friends is feeling energetic, but one of our friends is feeling a little bit sleepy. Well, friends, however you're feeling, we would love to share some story time and some activities and some discussing and some show and tell with you today. That sounds like a blast, Sophie. Today, we're gonna to be reading a book called Snow Day. Like you can see in my background and in Sophie's background, it's starting to get a little bit chilly where we are. I've even got my jacket on to help me stay warm. Sophie, should we start reading? Yeah, I think so, Paul. Let's open our book, which is also on the Khan Academy Kids app. Today, our book is called Snow Day by Cynthia Platt. Let's start reading. There was a storm last night and everything was covered in snow. Rhea and Alo saw snow falling from the sky. I know a great way to spend our snow day, Alo said. What is it? Rhea asked. Burr, friends. It looks like where Rhea and Alo are is cold too. They're bundled up in warm clothes to help them stay warm in the snow. Sophie, should we bundle up a little bit more too? I think so. I quite liked Olo's hat, so I've got something like that here, Paul. Oh, I love your hat, Sophie. I've got one kind of like it. So wow. let me put mine on too. Oh, great. Well, I'm feeling much warmer now, friends, because sometimes if you put something to keep your head warm, it helps your whole body stay warm. All right, let's go play in the snow with Rhea and Alo. Let's go sledding, Alo exclaimed. I've never done that before, Rhea told him. It's fun, Alo said. You speed down the hill and around trees and rocks. That sounded scary to Rhea. I might smack into a tree, Rhea said, or smash into a rock. You can steer around them, Alo assured her. But Rhea wasn't sure she had the skills. Friends, how does it look like Rhea feels in this page? What is she imagining? Oh, well, it looks like Rhea is imagining up in that top picture that things don't go very well and the sled maybe gets stuck in the snow and that Rhea goes slipping and sliding and she looks a little bit scared with her eyes squinted closed and a little bit of a frown. And then you can see Rhea is talking to Olo saying, I'm worried, Olo. I'm not sure I can do this. Yeah, I wonder if Rhea is going to be able to go sledding with Olo. Let's find out. I want to try something new, Rhea told him, but I want to stay safe too. Alo thought for a second, then he smiled. What if I helped you learn how to sled, he asked. Let's go to the small hill, Alo told her. That way we can start slowly. That seems like a good idea, Rhea agreed. So they took the sleds and stood at the top of the hill. This still looks pretty steep, Rhea said. Do you want to walk down first to see what it's like? Asked Alo. Yes, please, Rhea replied. The two friends stomped down the snowy hill. It doesn't seem so steep after all, Rhea said. Could we go down together first? Rhea asked. Of course, Alo told her. That would be fun. Rhea stepped onto the sled and sat behind Alo. 
they sled straight down the hill and came to a stop. Friends, how does Rhea look like she's feeling now? Oh, I think Rhea looks excited, probably for two reasons. One is that it's fun to go sledding and it looks like the sled's going whoosh down the hill and it must be really, really fast and fun. But I think the other reason is because Rhea conquered her fear of sledding. That must feel good. I agree. It looks like Rhea is excited, not worried or scared anymore. She's having fun. That was spectacular, Rhea exclaimed. Do you want to try again? Olo asked. Yes, Rhea said. Let's go. They sped down the hill together. Friends, what a fun story that was. Sophie mentioned that Olo helped Rhea overcome her fears of sledding so that now she thinks it's fun. Olo seems like a helpful friend. Do you remember everything that he did to help her overcome her fears? Hmm. One of our friends is saying that Olo was very kind and Olo didn't make a big fuss out of the fact that Rhea was scared. That was helpful. And then another one of our friends is saying that Olo helped Rhea by first walking down the hill to maybe make it seem a little less scary. And I think they said it wasn't as steep as they thought when they were walking down. And then Olo was really kind about letting Rhea join in on his sled so that Rhea could get the hang of it. But Olo was doing the driving at first. And then now you can see Rhea is ready to be on her own sled. Yes, step by step, Olo helps Rhea gain her confidence so that now she can sled and have fun. Speaking of sledding, friends, for show and tell, one of our friends sent us a video of learning to sled for the first time and getting a little bit of help along the way. Let's see what Benning sent us. Oh, it looks like here's Benning getting a little bit of help learning to sled. Look at all that snow. I wonder if Benning is feeling scared about going down this hill. Doesn't really look like it. <gasps> Here we go. Wow. Great job, Benning. That's a big <laughs> hill. That looked like so much fun. They were on a hill sledding, just like Olo and Rhea. And Benning got a little bit of help getting started, just like Rhea too. What we saw was that in Benning's video, there was a lot of snow. In some places in the world, in the winter months, it starts to get cold and there's snow. But it's not cold everywhere and there isn't snow everywhere. So sometimes we have to get creative and imagine our own snow. Our friend Naomi sent us a video where she did just that. Let's take a look. We don't live in snow, but this is white snow. <laughs> did you hear Naomi say, we don't live in snow, but this is my snow. And it looks like Naomi has found a box, maybe that something arrived in, maybe something was delivered in that box. And sometimes when you get something delivered in a big box like that, to keep it safe so that it doesn't break, they put in all these little bits of white soft stuff. And it looks a little bit like snow. And Naomi was so creative to think of getting in there and playing in it just like you would in snow. She looks like she's having so much fun. She jumped in it just like a big pile of snow. You're right, Sophie. So even though she lives in a place that doesn't have snow, she was still able to use her imagination and create some of her own. Friends, did you know that some places experience winter while other places experience summer at the exact same time? 
This time on Show and Tell, Luki drew a map of the Earth for us, and it's going to help us understand this a little bit better. Let's take a look. Wow, here's Luki. It looks like Luki is in the kitchen. Luki has done a very, very special drawing of the different countries that make up the earth. And some of those countries are in different parts of the world. And in some parts of the world, so in the Northern hemisphere, right now we're heading into winter. And in other parts of the world, the Southern Hemisphere, we call it, we're actually heading into the summer. So where my family is in Australia, we're actually getting ready to wear all of our summer clothes and to go to the beach and it'll be really hot. And that's all because we're just so far away on this giant earth that different things are happening with the seasons at the exact same time. Friends, that was so interesting. And I think that what we learned today was that regardless of what season it is where you live, it can be great to help a friend learn something new and maybe even overcome some of their fears. Friends, what are some ways that you could help a friend learn something new? Hmm. Well, one of our friends is saying that their friend is a little bit frightened of going swimming. So they're helping by sitting on the side of the pool with their friend and talking to their friend about how they're a little scared of the water and trying to gently show their friend that they think it'll be all right if they get a little bit further into the water. And so that's a friend who's helping a friend learn how to not be afraid of swimming. That sounds really helpful. Friends, it's important to remember that even though you might not be scared of something, somebody else might. And that's an opportunity for you to help them learn something new and maybe conquer their fear. Well, friends, that's about all that we have time for today on Circle Time. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to see you next time here on Circle Time. So thank you from me and Sophie and all of our friends at Circle Time and Khan Academy Kids. Bye for now. Bye, friends.